This video shows a case study of applying BioIn to upgrade an existing wastewater treatment plant. Let's look at the application of BioIn to an oxidation ditch in the United States. This system consists of two identical oxidation ditches, each receiving half of the total influent flow. The influent was typical for a North American wastewater. The design flow rate was 6 million gallons per day, and the plant was treating 5 million gallons per day at the time of the study. The plant was meeting its effluent requirements, which included phosphorus and total nitrogen limits. There were several goals for this project, which included investigating if the plant could meet more stringent effluent requirements, if the plant could meet these new effluent requirements at an increased flow, and if the plant could do all of this if one of the two ditches was taken out of service for maintenance. The approach used was to set up a bioin model of the treatment process. Some aspects of the bioin model are as follows. Both oxidation ditches were incorporated in the model flow sheet so that scenarios involving taking one of the oxidation ditches offline could be investigated. Oxidation ditches are modeled in bioin by representing each pass as a series of bioreactor elements to capture the plug flow nature observed in these systems. The time varying influent data for one year was input to the model and split equally between the two oxidation ditches. The first pass of the oxidation ditch was aerated by grids of fine pore diffusers. The second, third, and fourth passes transitioned from aerobic to anoxic, with the influent wastewater introduced at the beginning of the third pass in order to maximize denitrification. The model included chemical phosphorus removal through the addition of iron salts, as well as final clarification. Waste sludge was removed from the return activated sludge line and directed to a gravity thickener. The gravity thickener underflow was then sent to a belt filter press. The return streams from the gravity thickener and the belt filter press were not directed to the beginning of the process in the model. This is because the ditch influence sampling captured these streams. After setting up the bioin flow sheet and incorporating all operational aspects, the model was calibrated to one year of time varying performance data. In order to accomplish this, a supplemental plant sampling campaign was conducted to augment the existing data set. Minor adjustments were made to model parameters until the model predictions matched the observed plant responses for a variety of parameters. For example, here we see the predicted return activated sludge concentration represented as a solid line and the observed values shown as points. Another example is the comparison of predicted and observed solids retention time. Once the model was calibrated and predictive of the plant behavior, it was applied to investigate a number of scenarios of interest, including the following. Whether the plant could meet new effluent objectives under peak flows, seasonal temperature impacts on plant performance, whether additional aeration capacity was required in the fourth pass, prediction of plant effluent with one of the two ditches taken out of service. BioIn was used to generate charts to illustrate potential responses of interest to the plant owner. The model results help to emphasize a number of important conclusions including that the proposed upgrade of including diffusers in a portion of the fourth pass would allow the plant to meet the new effluent requirements at design flow that the proposed upgrade would not be able to meet the new effluent requirements under all conditions, such as sustained peak flow events at cold temperatures and with one oxidation ditch out of service. The benefits of these findings to the plant owner included the following points. Early recognition that the proposed upgrade needed to be modified in order to satisfy all of the project criteria, avoidance of misallocation of upgrade budget funds, the model findings form the basis of discussions with regulators regarding effluent requirements with units out of service. In this video we saw how BioIn can be used to upgrade an existing wastewater treatment plant. Please check our video library for videos on how to use BioIn for other engineering objectives. The library also contains short how-to tutorials that will help you increase your productivity.